So can you tell if you were affected by Heartbleed? And more important, what can you do about it? Ron Charles is going to tell him. Log into an email site or just about any website requiring a password and that little green padlock icon in the corner is the trusted symbol that's supposed to mean the information you type in is safe and secure. The little lock icon, the HTTPS, that makes you think this is a really secure site. Mm -hmm. You'd think it was, is it not? Uh, the lock icon has been lying to us uh, for a couple of years now. Okay. And so the sites that you've been going to where there's been a lock icon have not actually been secure. Security like consultant Claudio Popa says as many as two-thirds of the supposedly secure websites on the internet could be vulnerable to the Heartbleed bug. The programming error was in a suite of free software many websites use for secure internet transactions, everything from email to online shopping. Part of the program called the Heartbeat Extension can inadvertently bleed huge amounts of sensitive information, thus the name Heartbleed Bug. In giving out all that information, you're giving out encryption keys, usernames, pass passwords, the content of transmissions, instant messaging, pictures, you name it. So all that stuff goes out just because of a small mistake in checking the information that comes in. Websites have been scrambling over the past few days to fix the mistake, in itself a simple process. Experts say it will be up to everyone to eventually change their passwords wholesale. The important thing is not to do anything right at the moment because uh, until the servers themselves have been fixed, there's no point going around changing your passwords because the new password is as compromised as the old one could have been. The association that represents Canada's chartered banks released a statement today saying online banking was not affected by the Heartbleed bug. But they remind everyone to always monitor bank and credit card statements and periodically change pins and passwords anyway. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.